How you doing, fam bam? This is Chris Mizo here, and I know you're here for one particular purpose. You wanna know exactly how you can capture video or stream with using NVIDIA's Shadow Play. I use NVIDIA Shadow Play for everything that you see when it comes to desktop stuff. It's really useful and it really is flexible and it gives you all types of different options. Most of the time when you have an NVIDIA card already, usually you'll have this tool already built in and set up in your PC and you might not even know it. You might not be familiar with the keyboard shortcuts on how to manually record or to manually stream or even to access NVIDIA Shadow Play's overlay. I will explain very quickly and very thoroughly on exactly what you can do on how to record your videos, how to stream, and what kind of things you can do inside of Shadow Play. If you're curious about if it's better to stream or to record a video clip on NVIDIA Shadow Play or use Elgato's capture card, I will explain in a moment. If you're not really interested in that and you want to get straight to the point, make sure you just go down in the description box down below because I have everything time stamped. But there is some minimum requirements to use Shadow Play. For your Shadow Play to work well, you only need from Windows 7 at least 2 gigabytes of system memory, at least 1 gigabyte of space in your storage area, and also for your CPU, you only need an Intel Pentium G series. Uh, of course, you can use an i3, i5, or i7 or higher. And for AMD, you only need an FX. Uh, Ryzen 3, 5, 7, Threadripper, or higher can work as well. So as you can see, it's not really all too hardware intensive. For more details about this page, I will also have this page in the description box down below. You're probably curious why do gamers or streamers use something like Elgato's capture card in order to capture their gameplay. First off, I gotta mention, unless you're extremely, and I mean extremely competitive gamer, you're gonna want all the top of the line equipment. You'll barely notice a difference, if at all, especially when you're gaming on a PC. The reason being is that shadow play is not as demanding in spite of what you hear. 5% is the most it will impact your NVIDIA's GPU. Unless it's a very highly detailed game, it can go up to 10%. And more than likely, you're probably not gonna stream it. The most you'll do in any type of game like that, you're probably gonna make video clips anyway. And there's also another advantage with Shadow Play, which you will find out soon. But I do gotta say, Elgato does have some really excellent software and it is really easy to use. But of course, if you pay that much of a premium in price, you will only notice a 5% boost, if that. One really big disadvantage, especially if you game on an ultra wide monitor, it will not be able to capture that. But Shadow Play can. I'd only recommend to use something like Elgato's capture card if you're a professional because Shadow Play will do exactly what you want. And the best part is it's already comes with your NVIDIA's GPU, so it's free. The only other time I would recommend Elgato's capture card if you're trying to stream on a Nintendo Switch or a PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X. But to be fair, even PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X also have their version of streaming too. So it's almost become irrelevant to use Elgato's capture card. I mean, it does have its uses, but that can be explained in a whole nother video. If you wanna hear more about that, make sure you put it down in the comments below. Without further ado, let me show you exactly how to use Shadow Play. This is what I usually use to record all of these desktop videos that you see me make. I usually use Shadow Play for it and it works excellent, it works well. And if you don't know how to access Shadow Play, you simply hit Alt-Z. As soon as you hit Alt-Z, you will see the screen come up. When you see the screen comes up, then that means you you can access all your settings for your Shadow Play. Now, if it does not come up, or for some reason your default setting for getting to Shadow Play is differently, all you have to do is let me exit out of this real quick. Go down to your taskbar. When you go down to your taskbar, you'll see your NVIDIA settings. Right click it and go to NVIDIA GeForce Experience. When you enter NVIDIA GeForce Experience, you have to go to the settings. And once you go into settings, you go to general. 
and you should see in-game overlay and that will tell you exactly how you access shadow play for me it is alt z and if it's different on yours press those commands for shadow play to appear or you can simply hit the settings button when you hit the settings button i'm going to explain everything in this menu right here of course i will have everything in time frames down below in the description box if you don't want to really see this portion of it but it's pretty important for you to understand everything that shadow play can do for you and how you can take advantage of every tool shadow play does all for you so the very first a screen that you see here is connect what connect is is for you to log into your facebook or into your uh, google account you could log into your twitch you could log into your youtube for you to go into your twitch account you can simply just hit it and click login up here on the right hand corner when you log in you can just uh, enter your username and your password and it should log you right in this is great if you want to share your video clips or your very cool playbacks that you want to share or you want to share it on youtube you can also do that as well and it just shows you that everything is possible with shadow play you can even share up to ultra wide ultra wide gameplay which i will share with you momentarily but first let's get back here that's simply just the connect feature. What HUD layout is, is if you want to record any gameplay or this is a very useful option if you're streaming uh, gameplay. So as you see, you can go into camera here and you can also set the position of the camera to the upper hand left side. And then you can see it just pop up and you can even manage the size of it. Of course, that would probably be a large distraction. If you have it that big, more than likely, you'll probably want it this size. Or you might want it on the bottom right-hand corner to where it doesn't interfere with your screen. So for now, we'll turn that off. You also have your status indicator. That's simply just to tell you that you're recording or if your mic is on, you can simply set it on. And it should look like right here on your monitor and it's very small but i have it down below i'll turn that off next is your performance performance is pretty self-explanatory it's showing you the use of your gpu your cpu utilization and your gpu utilization and then it will show you your latency while you're playing in game play and it will also show you your frames per second so you could even set it to advanced and you could even set set it to latency to whatever of your choosing. You can also have the amount of viewers you want to see if anyone's watching on uh, either side of the screen will look something like that. You can turn that off for now. And comments, you can also have them appear too. So let's go back. So now you know what Connect does. Now you know what HUD layout does. Now let's get to keyboard shortcuts. This is where you can alternate your settings. If you don't like Alt-Z, you can change it to any demand you want. You just simply click it and you, you select uh, what you want it to record. Also, you can activate push to talk. You can set this if you choose not to have it activated all the time like I do. With my G4 Shadow Play, I have it constantly recorded. You can also toggle the mic on and off. You can also capture your screenshots with it instead of pressing print screen. You can press Alt F1 or Alt F2 and it will just store it inside of a folder. Now you can go into game filter and you can edit out the filters. Um, you can also record um, automatically toggle instant replay. You can choose to do that. If you wanted to just press Alt Shift F10. Uh, of course, you can change out any of these key bindings if you're not happy with them. Uh, you can save the last five minutes recorded. You can toggle manual recording on and off. This is a, some very useful features, especially if you have something that you really want to share that is really awesome with your friends. You can also broadcast live with these simple settings. Just press Alt F8 and it will automatically broadcast on. Also, just to let you know, to manually record, I have mine set to Alt F9. You could also change yours if you're not happy with Alt F9. You can change it to anything of your choosing. Also, to broadcast live, you simply press Alt F8, 
and it will start broadcasting on your Twitch or your YouTube or whichever settings that you want it to when you logged into your accounts. Also, you can choose to toggle your even your camera on and off. You can toggle comments. Uh, and, and these are really, really awesome features and really neat features. And it just shows you how much NVIDIA has to offer when you purchase their GPUs. Also, your custom overlays, you can also turn them on. I have mines all off. Of course, you could go down to your performance. You can also toggle your performance overlay by Alt and R. If you press Alt and R, your performance will just automatically come up. Now, with Windows, they have multiple ways you could do this. Even if you don't have NVIDIA Shadow Play, of course, you can hit uh, the Windows button in G. And if you do that, it will also do the same. But anyway, um, now we went over these three. Now you go into recordings. This is probably where you need to know the most information. This is where you save all your video clips. It saves all your videos here. I have mine's in a custom folder. If you want a custom folder, you're gonna have to manually do it under File Explorer, create the folder, and then you can put the directory towards that direction. Also with your temporary files, it's probably best to leave your temporary files the way it is because you're probably gonna to wanna to clear it out anyway because it's gonna save a ton of information that you probably won't want or need. So let's go back here. Um, let's, now you know what recordings are. It's just exactly that. It's the directory of where you want your video clips. Now broadcast live, you can choose what you wanna activate. You can choose to uh, activate your, uh, your Twitch. You could activate your YouTube. And then you can choose your settings. Now with Facebook, the max resolution you can share up to is 720p, which is less than desirable for most people who stream. More than people stream with Twitch. Of course, they stream at 1080p HD. And now with YouTube, you can even stream up to 1440p because I have an ultra wide monitor. You can even stream that if, of your choosing if you want to, even up the frame rates of 60 frames per second, which is a really neat feature that Elgato's capture card cannot do. So let's go back here. Now you know what, so far you know what Connect does, HUD layouts does, you know what keyboard shortcuts does, you know recordings, broadcast live, now highlights. This is a big one here. Highlights is a great option if you want your shadow play to automatically record some key features. Because I play Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War very often, I've set my maximum disk space to 20 gigabytes. And it, I also have another file folder, I have a files folder into my videos folder. And as you can see, it's under Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Now, this is usually under temporary files. If you don't want to really capture that many files, you can even uh, limit it up to one gigabyte, five gigabytes, depending on how much space you have on your storage area. Now, let's go back here. Now, you have your photo mode and your game filter. Of course, you can turn that on if you want to be able to uh, go through your different game filters. Now, you have audio. Audio is set to 70 for my system sound because I prefer my voice to be louder than the actual gameplay so you can actually hear my voice, which I will perform momentarily once you show you exactly how shadow play will work when I'm inside of a game. And you can also even, if you prefer, you can even separate your audio from your video. If you like to edit your videos, this is probably a really good option, but, um, if you'd like to just prefer to keep video clip all, you can also set it that to that too. So this is, you won't, it should be highlighted right here and it will give you that option. Because I'm recording now, it will not show it. Now let's go into video capture and you can choose the quality of your video. I prefer mine to be high in game and at 60 frames per second. And you can even choose the bit rate even up to five minutes of replay. So let's go to notifications. For notifications, it will let you know if your in-game overlay is on, if you're recording, uh, it lets you know if you're taking a picture through your shadow play. Your gallery will show you your last 
uh, your last minute saved, recordings that's been saved, different screenshots, all that will pop up usually on, their, on your upper right hand corner. For your status of instant replay, record and broadcast live, it will also let you know if you're broadcasting or recording. And of course, your highlights, which is pit, which is screenshots of the game or any kind of highlights that happened, uh, such as an afterlife or a triple kill or whichever game that you play that is a highlight. It, Shadow Play will automatically record that. Now let's go to privacy control. Mine is personally on. I'm sure a lot of you privacy, you don't want nobody spying on you. So uh, you could go under performance monitoring, which is the very last choice. And you can choose to set your latency metric settings when you prefer. And it will give you a log file in this very directory in your documents if you choose to take a look at it. So that is the basics of all the recordings. Now remember your keyboard shortcuts. If you want to remember to number the main key to record is if you're in game and you want to record manually, for me, I press Alt F9. And for anyone else who is trying to broadcast, all you have to do is simply hit Alt F8 and it will automatically broadcast. I will show you a quick example of how it looks. All right, fam bam, so I'm in the game now. I'm going to go into settings here because this is pretty important to know when you are recording. Other people will hear you talk in the stream if you want them to. If you want them to hear you talk during the stream, that's okay. But if you don't want them to hear you while you're talking, such as I'm doing this very tutorial now, you're going to want to go under audio. You're going to want to turn off open mic and change it to push the talk. That way, other people won't hear you talking when you're recording. Domination. So as you can see, this is the how it will sound Please with the settings that I currently Government have. Government, you're taking the objective. Shadow play. As you can see, I'm Charlie. clearly uh, another great out. tip that I usually suggest taking is B. to also use the voice if you want if you're playing. So that way, it's um, so that way if you don't want any uh, extra sound any extra uh, voices in your video clips uh, just hit F11 Bravo or whatever down. the game's hot key for the lead. Sound. or for the voice Losing sound. Me. Hey fam bam guys I hope you found this very useful if you did make sure you don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also if you want to join the big wonderful fam bam where we love to talk about PC and tech stuff Make sure to go down and hit that subscribe button for more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. And also, for all the newest updates, make sure you follow my Twitter handle right here. And I also, it is also the same for my IG and TikTok as well. Hey, fam bam, guys, will you be using Shadowplay? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching.